Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Dior and this is Final Fantasy Tactics. A little under the weather today, or tonight rather, um, so there's that. Um, I did take care of a lot of uh, grinding and all that good stuff. Um, Chosen One is not going to be sticking around, uh, the person actually decided to go with Agrius. So we'll be dropping Chosen One eventually and replacing him with Agrius, and Agrius is going to end up being essentially a uh, Holy Knight slash White Mage with um, um, a bit more focus on physical attacking and Meat Bone Slash and all that good stuff. So yeah, we'll be picking up Agrius, which will be great because Agrius is not that bad, um, especially if you actually take the time to build her up as some, uh, besides just you know getting her whole Holy Sword skills. Um, I also completely forgot about Moshi, <laughs> or Mosh, or Mashu, or however you should pronounce it. Um, this person now voted uh, for a new character, so since I kind of had the voting up before I stated the thing about the limitation on slots, I went ahead and made the character. Of course, if someone wants to switch over to a um, NPC and all that stuff, just let me know, and I'll obviously uh, retire the character and switch over. Or if you're just a person that doesn't have a character yet, I recommend voting for um, a named character, an NPC or something like that, that will come along. Uh, we, I will be getting Mastadio very soon as an actual regular character. Um, there's not really much I can do about it because I think I need Mastadio in my group in order to do a lot of the side content. So I'll be stick, uh, keeping him around. Speaking of Mastadio, apparently the last battle he actually got enough um, JP to get Seal Evil, so I went ahead and got that over move plus one because Seal Evil is going to be very useful for this upcoming fight. This upcoming fight could be very difficult if you don't have um, some sort of spellcasting ability because most, a lot of the enemies there will have Blade Grasp, so we will be dealing with that. Uh, this upcoming fight's not going to be very good for Moshi, so I will not be using him for that. Um, as for everyone else, uh, I think everyone else is good to go. Some people got some level ups. Um, all the shops have new stuff, um, so I did get the next tier of Katana, which is the Kotetsu Knife, which does get us access to the next ability, um, draw, the next draw out ability, which is Kotetsu, which is Dark Elemental, which is not going to really help us against this upcoming fight. Um, everything else I think is good to go. The only thing I am missing for Auric. Uh, oh, there was a recommendation for Auric to get attacked up. I went ahead and did that while I was grinding. Um, he also has the tier 2 spear, which is a spear. And uh, the only thing I'm missing on him is I need to get uh, Ignore Height and of course get Infinite Vertical. So I haven't gotten those yet. Um, I think that's it. There's a lot of stuff. I, I took care of a lot of things. Um, you know, know all the Mediator abilities, all that good stuff. Yeah, we're good to go. So yeah, um, yeah, this is what we got. Uh, everyone's about level 16 or 17 by now. I think our highest level character is... Looks like 17, so that's not too bad. Alright, so this battle, like I mentioned, has um, Blade Grasp characters, which will be our first encounter with official characters that have uh, Blade Grasp, which used to be a samurai ability, but now it's an NPC only ability because it's ridiculously overpowered. So, who should we take? Uh, we will have um, Mastadio with us, so that's going to be good. Alright, I think we'll go ahead and take Auric. I could take Kato no Koro, which actually would be a pretty good idea, because dancing does stack. And you know what? Let's bring in Chizad. We haven't used Chizad in a while. He's actually been helping out a lot in the um, for grinding and stuff like that when fighting in um, random bat battles. Cause I usually use him to take out everything. He also has like 300 HP now, so... Also bought a bunch of wizard mantles, mainly just for the plus one magic attack. But yeah, we got to deal with our um, first encounter with uh, with uh, undead here, so we look forward to that. 
Um, in fact, we're dealing with both types of undead, which are skeletons and ghosts. Ghosts are the ones that have the blade grasp. Now you might notice that, that one went transparent, but that doesn't really matter too much. Now, Seal Evil is super useful here, um, because it's it's can potentially just completely um, petrify an undead. Undead do have a chance of getting back up when the when their death timer runs out, and that's kind of a big deal. But as you can tell, let's see if I can pull up this stuff. Yeah, so he has teleport, blade grass, float, cannot enter water, darkness absorb, and holy weakness. Um, so teleport pretty much means he can move up to six spaces without any hindrance. Any spaces beyond that, there's a percent chance that the teleport will fail and he'll just reappear back in his original position. But with six movements, he can easily teleport to where he needs to be. Um, all these guys have really powerful magic attacks, as well as pretty devastating close range attacks. Um, some of them also have sleep touch, which is like a, um, you know, sleep debuffs. Over here we got Ochus, which can do um, a whole lot of status effects um, with bad breath. And that's pretty much the main thing. It's the bad breath. It's going to put... It, it has a very low chance of hitting, but each it's a low chance of hitting with each of the um, status effects. You can get hit by mul and you get hit by all of them at the same time, so it's very devastating. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and play this safe, and I'm just gonna go all out with um, some uh, Davis and hope that I don't get um, sniped. I'm also a little surprised that my um, dancer went first. At least they recognize the threat. Um, also, um, one of the things, that, a very important item that was available to the shops were green berets, which is a light armor that increases your speed by one. And pretty much every character that can use it is equipped with it, with the exception of some spellcasters. I don't think Rams is equipped with it right now. Nope, he's got triangle hat. Also, uh, I think that's about, about it. Yeah, we'll go with that. Wow, you get heck movement. So yeah, I could try attacking this guy, but he has Blade Grass. I haven't really said what Blade Grass does. It essentially makes your evasion go through the roof against physical attacks. It's so powerful that even Concentrate will not bypass it. Um, so pretty much with if your base evasion plus Blade Grass, your chance of hitting being hit is like 6% or something like that. Something like single digits. If you have Concentrate, you can get it up to double digits, but even then it's pretty much not something you can really do. Now something to note, uh, mimes are immune to all status effects, so I think I'll go ahead and use that opportunity to go ahead and just uh, hang out over here. Uh, these things do have regenerator as their reaction, which is kind of nice. I do like the fact that some of these monsters have something other than counter as their um, reaction. But yeah, I get, the only way to fight against uh, blade grass is with either things that always hit, which in this game, in this version, there's not really anything that does that. Um, but there's also uh, magic. Magic can actually work. Now, what he just did was he just did death. Now, it wasn't death. Was it death? I think he just cast death on this guy for no reason. Because he's at full health. But yeah, these skeletons know things like death and demi, which are classified as darkness. Uh, and of course, the enemy can be healed by darkness, so it's a, uh, it's pretty brutal. I am just within range, but I, can, I am going to go ahead and wait a turn. But yeah, magic and I guess dances are pretty much the only way to get actually hit through blade grass reliably. Elemental also works, I believe. Now, of course, I just triggered Regenerator on a bunch of guys, but that's not a big deal. It does slow down the fight, though. Twelve damage, 12 damage isn't bad. Yeah, we're gonna trigger Regenerator a lot in this fight. That's okay. I 
don't know why that guy's flashing white. By the way, the marsh here, if you if you end your turn in it, uh, you will be poisoned. Oh. I don't know what that was about. I'm really confused. Technical regular attack. They usually just do bad breath, but obviously... Um, Hata no Kokoro is uh, immune to such things. All right, this is uh, this is your time to shine, uh, Ramza. All right, you can definitely kill that guy. Death is gonna trigger, but it doesn't really matter. Actually, you can move. And you hold the line. Yeah, I don't know why he cast that. Alright, so he's oiled, and he's gonna die from... Oh my god, that actually worked. I didn't even plan that, and it worked. <laughs> but that does bring a, pr uh, a good question, which I need to check real quick. As soon as I actually get a turn again. It looks like, um, for mime effects, it the positioning is based off where you, um, and where you actually activate it, not when you start charging it. But yeah, I, didn't, I wasn't even planning. I wasn't even planning on explosion hitting the mime explosion actually hitting anything. In fact, I forgot completely about it. <laughs> but hey, it worked out. Did 40 damage. It's better than nothing. It's free. It's free so. I do need to get uh, Oro out of there though, because it's getting a bit rough. In fact, one of the things I could have done was I could have just healed myself um, with um, Shazad, and he would have, uh, the Koro would just heal, um, do the same heal. That's okay. Yeah, that's what I figured. Alright, I want to get blasted. 32 damage. Wow, that's not too bad. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's heal ourselves, shall we? There we go. The, um, those freaking, um, skeletons do tons of damage with their, um, soul attacks. So, the more we can whittle them down, the better. I mean, great that they can just heal themselves with Dimmy, but it's better than nothing. Alright, well, we're kind of beat up here. Um, what's our ATB looking at? Phobos, that's you. That's you, Wiznabis, you, and then Eros, who's that's you. Alright, tell you what. We're just gonna go uh I'm not sure how much damage I can do to that thing. They'll fall back and slip and come to us. They move rather slow. Yep, here it is, Aqua Soul, 100 damage. Alright, they're gonna cast Dimmy. For some reason he just decided to move out of his own heal, but that's okay.
At least we killed one of them, so there's less regenerators procking. Like, it's not even that bad, it's just it slows down the fight. casting death for a full heal um, you can use healing items um, if you don't have like magic or anything like that and you need to deal with ghosts uh, one option is to use items um, they have nerfed Phoenix downs so you can't just instant kill uh, undead anymore it just does raw damage um, so your best bet is to just use high potions which will do a, a consistent 60 damage over and over again not much to do I'm gonna go ahead and just heal in place just to give some support to uh, Hato no Kokoro. Yes. Glad they're wasting turns just trying to heal themselves. Because if all of them were at, at our doorstep, we would have some trouble. Because they would just use their ranged magic attacks that hit for over 100, and then their melee attacks, which also generally hit for over 100. Because monsters are really powerful. Alright, looks like they're just getting wear worn down at this point. Yay for dancers. Oh! HP Restore. Good to know. Do you have HP Restore? Yes, you do. Alright then, we're just gonna... Actually, we can switch to the dance. Let's switch to... Um, Disillusion. Why'd you aim at the one that had blade grass, you idiot? Ah, uh, whatever. Unfortunately, the regenerators now can actually do something, but that's okay. Who is... are you... Yeah, you are. Alright. Well, I have a solution for you. I just need to go for one space. Light. All right, ghosts are taken care of. I'm not. I didn't plan that. It just worked out that way. <laughs> I didn't even. I didn't even position that ahead of time. It just worked out that way. Very glad it did, though. All right. Ow. <laughs> so he, so the, not only, you mimic the weapon that you're using as well, apparently, which is interesting. Uh, unfortunately, this marsh is that marsh there is too deep, so I can't do anything. I can't go in there. So we'll just hang out here for now. percent chance to uh, lower magic attack by one. Right now it's not much, but it does add up. About to cast Dimmy too, it looks like. I like how the dialogue's on the wrong person, but whatever. If I have to focus down the skeletons, that's fine by me. Missed. Okay. Demi does percentage-based damage, I believe, so it should be fine. Oh, 
All missed. That's four coin flips failed. And four coin flips successful. These guys aren't too high of a level. Looks like that one's level 10, so... That one's level 14. Oh, here's bad breath. Sleep. Poisoned. Okay, that's not too bad. Petrify is the worst of it, because there's not much I can do about it. Can you please do a seal evil? Well, you missed, but that's okay. At least you're not, you know, doing your job. Using the uh, magic attack also, I think, affects the percent chance of things like death or status effects from hitting, so every little bit helps. And the reason I switched over to this is because I don't want to risk um, with Nibis, um procking HP Restore, because all the skeletons have HP Restore. One down. You're not gonna hit anything. <laughs> I was already I, I pushed my luck with the past two attacks that I didn't even plan. All right, one of the ghosts might get back up. We'll see. That's why the petrification is useful because you can't get back up after more petrify. And no luck. Give me two. Got to be careful about using items. In fact, let's move away to make sure that doesn't happen. All right, so this is all that's left. I've already debuffed their magic as much as possible. So yeah, the problem is there's just not very many places you can actually stand in this map. Yeah, we'll just move. I was planning on breaking the dance, but I don't really have any better actions to do right now.
I was, I might, I was considering switching to Poka Poka just to start debuffing attack, but at this point I just kind of want to kill the things. Okay, so the good news is that one didn't get back up. Maybe it just became a treasure box. Bad news is, uh, we don't really have any many actions left. Come on, seal evil. Okay, I don't know why you switched to something that had less accuracy and actually succeeded. You could have done seal evil and that would have ended it, but whatever. Alright, so... Explosion... Or do I want to do holy? Well, that's a bit overkill, but I'll, I'm willing to do it. <sighs> Freaking Dimmy. So unless it misses, which it won't. High ether, not bad. Well, I just wasted a holy, but that's okay. I have a solution to that. <laughs> Ambido. Well, I tried to stop it. Oh, I could have just positioned myself to do holy, but that's okay. Didn't think ahead there. I don't think I would have been able to get close enough. Anyway, that's what Hamado does. It's like counter, except it does it before the attack actually happens. And it cancels the attack as a result. Well, I don't have much MP left, but I can get into position to start doing chain lightning from a distance. Oh, that's right, that's why he was running away, because of don't act. That's how I do it. Assuming the HP restore doesn't screw me. There we go. A bit long, but the it was a long fight, but we had kind of total control, so it was all right. All right. Well, the next city is actually the first city where we can actually start buying guns if we care to. There'll be a few more battles before we get Agrius. I think it's going to be about two or three more battles. But uh, until then, I am the Depressed Hero, and this was Final Fantasy Tactics. See you guys later.